growing up, we we have the Bible stories read to us as kids, and we go to church and and uh, we hear about all these things. And and I, I did believe it. I really did. I I believed in in the Lord, and uh, I didn't have any doubt. But when you're able to go over there and personally see these things for yourself. It really brings the scriptures to life, and it just solidifies it in your mind, it makes it more clear, and uh, it it's a it's a powerful tool when it's used to uh, to witness to others because you have your own experience to share with somebody. So it definitely has a um, strength in my faith, definitely. And uh, I've never met uh, a man like Ron White before. He was uh, my uh, closest friend. And uh, I miss him uh, dearly, but I know that one day I'll see him again. One of his uh, last words uh, before he passed away, I talked to him a few hours before he passed away, and he said, uh, to continue on, to be faithful, and that one day he'd uh, see me again under the tree of life in all of us. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. And the important thing is for us to be faithful and continue on with his work and with, with God's work in general and ask that the Lord give us a character that can be molded and shaped uh, for His service in whichever way He sees fit. And uh, we live in exciting times. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that all of us can be a part of it. Do you believe that, how, that uh, Ron White found the Ark of the Covenant? And what makes you think so, okay, if you do? Let's stop there. For, you want to cut the tape for a minute here? Sure. i got to think before I... What? You know, yeah, that is uh, definitely one misconception that people have. They say, well, Ron doesn't have the credentials that a, uh, uh, an archaeologist would have today. He didn't have the schooling. He doesn't have the Ph.D. But we can look down through history and see that God doesn't always work with those that are, quote, the learned of the day. We can go back to the uh, Bible, to, the, to Jesus' time with the disciples. Now, Jesus could have taken uh, 12 disciples from the, uh, the, the quote uh, learned from the day, the Pharisees and the scribes, but he was looking for people with the right kind of hearts that he could uh, mold and, and, and shape. And so as far as with Ron, I believe God picked Ron. Ron was a very humble man and he could have picked anybody like what Ron said. He said he, he chose the weak. He considered himself, himself that and Ron was a very, very gracious, very humble man. I made a trip with Ron in 1994, the fall of 1994, uh, once in November and uh, again in December um, of that year to uh, Qumran where the traditional Dead Sea Scrolls were found. Um, Ron was going to do some excavation there for um, the Israeli uh, Antiquity Department. Um, this is another thing too, uh, people believe, well, you know, did Ron White just go over there and uh, just start taking pictures and say this is this, this is that? You know, how would he get clearance to, to be able to do a dig on a site like this? This is one of the highly prized archaeological sites in the world. To be able to go there and do an excavation, you're going to have to have some contacts and, and uh, you're going to have to be a believable source. And so Ron uh, was commissioned by the Antiquity Department to, uh, to do a dig um, in that area possibly to find if there's any more uh, uh, scrolls of any sort, uh, if there's any archaeological relics uh, still there before they were going to turn this area over to uh, the Palestinian Authority. And so um, we did do a dig there uh, near the Dead Sea Scrolls site. I spent uh, a few days there. We uh, dug a tunnel back about 40, 30 to 40 feet. I don't remember exactly the distance. Um, and we would uh, bring the dirt out and, and we were up on a uh, embankment there where we had dug that hole. He picked up a gold reading in, uh, in, in the area we were digging so we were hoping to uh, come into a chamber there possibly to find something but we we did not find anything on that trip or the second trip. I we had it. Go ahead. I understand an official came and up to you and... Yeah I'm not sure what his uh, position was but uh, an official came down um, in a jeep and uh, talk to Ron and to see how things were going and we didn't have any problems uh, there were tourists above uh, watching us uh, work so I thought it was quite ironic that here Ron Wyatt not a quote uh, uh, 
learned to educate archaeologists was uh, digging holes in one of the most revered archaeological sites in the world. So that will tell you something about Ron. Uh, I, I think it really definitely boosts his, his credibility.